famous English poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge said, water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. I'm pretty sure if he is alive today, he would say data, data everywhere, not an item to use. Dirty data is a big problem in many data analysis situations. I wish we have a data cleaner handy so we can spray the dirty data with this and it'll automatically clean it. Well, don't worry, we have got the next best thing. Excel has got five powerful functionalities using which we can clean data in an automated fashion. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use these five functionalities with 10 examples. Let's get in. Here is the sample data set that I will be using to explain the data cleanup techniques in Excel. This data set has several columns and it represents a typical employee data set. While it does look fairly clean, there are some gnarly problems in the data. For example, the start date is all messed up. There are several blank values in the gender column. The department has some incorrect values as null and some of the location details are all messed up. Our first challenge is to use the name column and extract just the first name. To do this, we can use the amazing flash fill functionality of the Excel. All you have to do is type first name in an adjacent column and then start typing the values. So Minerva, Una, and as you type one or two values, you will see that Excel has predicted what you are going for and it has automatically filled up all the values. At this point, if you just press enter, all the values for your table will be automatically calculated. This functionality is called flash fill and it is kind of like a simple pattern recognition engine built right into Excel. If the values are incorrect or you want to re-trigger it, you can use the control E shortcut to run this again. Let's demonstrate the flash fill with another example. For this time, we are going to extract the work location, just the city name alone. Notice that several of our employees work from remote locations, but other people work from either Seattle, Hyderabad, Wellington or Columbus, etc. So I'm going to type city here and then start typing the names. So second cell has a value Seattle, Seattle, Hyderabad. And at this point, flash will did predict what we are going for and it kind of suggested but notice that the location city where the city is remote is kind of incorrect this is one of the limitations of flash fill the other limitation of flash fill is it is manual so if your data changes so for example this person's name is no longer minerva but you know it is somebody xyz at this point even though this value has changed here my first name is stuck with minerva I would have to go back and type this again. That kind of brings us to the next example, which is text to columns. So for this, I'm going to show you how to use the work location and then split that into city and country if possible. We start by selecting the location column. You can use control shift down arrow to pick an entire column of values and then go to the data ribbon and there is your text to columns. Just click on it and it will ask you how your data is. My data is delimited with a comma wherever it is there. So I'm going to pick delimited next and then the delimiter is the comma not tab. So I'm going to pick that and when you click next, it's going to say, OK, I found two columns here. I'm just going to leave that there. If you want, you can specify the data types here, but you can just leave it as general and when you finish, it's going to split the work location into two separate columns. Notice that if there is an extra space in the beginning, it's going to leave that space there. Later on in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove that space. Text to columns is an amazing way to split the data, not just by delimiter, but also by fixed width. Let's take a look at another example. In our data, we have our employee ID with a specific format. The first two letters denote their cost center and then the next five letters denote their employee ID. And I would like to split this into cost center and employee ID for some analysis. One way to do this is we'll just take a copy of some of these employee IDs and put that in a new page. And then here I'm just gonna run my data text to columns 
and where it says delimited I'm going to change this to fixed width next and at this point Excel will ask you so where is your fixed width I'm just gonna point it to the first two letters and then click next notice that we are also splitting the header that's fine and then I will pick both columns and then set them to be text data type so that uh, these leading zeros are preserved when the data goes into Excel and we'll just say finish and we have our cost center on the left column employee ID on the right column nicely split up another kind of dirty data that can exist in your situation is duplicate values I'm just going to quickly sort my names so that you can see if we have any duplicates here you can see that JMC offer is is a duplicate record and there will be many other like Eileen Mc Critchy is also a duplicate so in this scenario I would like to remove anyone who is a duplicate record and this is where we can use the Excel's data remove duplicates button start by selecting all your data and then from data ribbon click on remove duplicates it's gonna say which column has the duplicates I'm just going to unselect everything and then pick the name column as my duplicate alternatively you can also use a unique identifier so let's use employee ID because the ID is also same in this case and then we'll click OK and it will remove any duplicate records and all the relevant rows as well but there is a problem while flash fill text to columns and the remove duplicates are all amazing ways to clean data they have one serious flaw and that is they are all manual so if your data changes you must rerun this process to have clean data this is where our next set of functionalities come into picture I'm gonna show you how to use a completely automated setup to clean up data for the next half of the video the next Excel functionality that we are going to look at is the Excel formulas my favorite functions when it comes to working with data cleanup are usually text and date and time functions our number one formula is going to look at the name column and remove any extra spaces notice that while the names do look clean some of these people have an extra space in the beginning could be a problem when we are copy pasting the data from another system so we will, can make a clean name by using the trim function trim off the name and it's going to give you the value but if there is any spaces at the beginning in the middle extra spaces or at the end they will all be gone and when you fill this down you can now see that Lena's name doesn't have that extra space so trim is a very useful function for cleaning up extra spaces from your data likewise I want to find out based on the FTE number whether an employee is a full-time or a part-time person so if their FTE is one then they are a full-time employee anything less than one makes them a part-time employee so here I can use the if function to do this kind of a job if my FTE value is less than one then the employee is a part-time employee else they are a full-time employee when you copy paste the formula down you will get the values for every employee the advantage of formula based approach is it is completely dynamic to data changes so for example if this employee goes from full-time to part-time and their FTE becomes 0 0.8 instantly I will see their employee type as part-time here apart from formulas Excel also has a really powerful and completely automated way to clean data where your data could be even more messy or the cleanup process is more complicated and that particular feature is called power query so this next part of the video I'm going to show you how to use power query with the three different examples plus a bonus example for this part of the tutorial I just copy pasted the data into a new tab and now we will load this tab into power query so that we can clean it up to start you need to just select the data and then from the data ribbon because our data is already here I'm just going to say from within sheet at this point power query ideally wants your data to be in a table so it wants to turn this into a table this is fine with me so I'm gonna click OK our data gets turned into a table and it will transform into power query if this is your first time working within power query then my recommendation is just pay attention to what I am doing 
and do not worry about all the screen buttons. I have got another video where you can learn more about Power Query at a detailed level and I'll show that to you towards the end of this. Let's start with a simple problem which is I got my employee ID that has my cost center and ID value mixed up and I want to split this into two columns. So this is my column, right click and then from there I can split the column by either a delimiter, number of characters or positions. Notice that further down there are even more interesting options, for example, non-digit to digit. This is an excellent way to split data where you have got both numbers and text mixed up. For now, I'm just going to use the number of characters option and then just say that I want to split two characters once as far left as possible. When you click OK, you will get both parts of your employee ID. So this is employee ID 1 and ID 2. I can double click on this and then say cost center and then this one is ID number. The next problem that I want to address within Power Query is notice our start date has got some serious inconsistencies. This kind of data sets are very common in corporate situations. To fix this, we can just right click on the start date column and then try change type to date. I'm just going to try this to see if this fixes the problem. It seemed to have fixed that problem. There are no errors. So that's all you need to do. But if your dates have some more complicated nature, you can use right click, change type and then using locale option, especially if you have got dates that come from a different geography than your own geography and the formatting is seriously different. Let us see how we can use the FTE column to figure out whether an employee is a full-time or a part-time person. This kind of an operation requires the if condition in Excel with formula. We can use the same logic within Power Query as well. Because we want that as a new column, we can go from home to add column ribbon and then use the conditional column option. Give your conditional column a name and then here I can just select FTE and I can specify my condition. So for example, I can say FTE equals to one, then the output needs to be full time, else it needs to be part time. You can also reverse this condition by using less than or greater than operators as well. So click OK and you will get a full time, part time as a column added to your data. So those are our 10 examples. But as I promised to you, I do have another bonus example. So let's go back to the video. Here, if you notice, our gender column has some missing values. Likewise, our department column also has some null values. What we want to do is as part of the data cleanup process, if any employee's gender value is missing, we just want to code them as other. One quick way to do this is right click on the gender column and then there is a replace values option. So replace values, value to find is null in small letters and replace with other so that anytime it finds a null, it's going to replace. You might think all of this is good, but what if I need to repeat the process? Essentially through Power Query, what we are doing is we are teaching Excel how we want our data to be cleaned. So every step you do, it will add a piece of code in the internal logic and you can see all that code it is adding on the right hand side with applied steps. So anytime you have new data, you can just trigger a button and it will rerun the process. I'll show that to you shortly. Likewise, for the department, I just want to delete any department where it is null because those employees are no longer within the organization. So we can go here, uncheck the null option click OK. So now our data is cleaned up. It is in a nice format that I can use for further analysis. I can go to home and say close and load. What this will do is it will add a new table in a new worksheet for us with the clean cut of data. So this green table is what we are going to use for any analysis. Now let's handle the question of what happens if our data changes. All we have to do is come here and put the new data. I do have some new data. So let me copy paste this. So now that we have pasted new set of data into the table, we just go back to the Power Query table, the green one, right click on it and then run the refresh process. Like magic, Power Query is going to just run all your data cleanup steps and get you a clean cut of data ready for analysis. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about the granddaddy of Excel's data cleanup functionalities, the Power Query. Here is a detailed video that I did a while ago. Please check that one out. 
And if you want some quick wins for data cleanup using other techniques in Excel, check out one of my most popular videos as well that gives you 10 more techniques on how to clean up data in Excel. I wish you all the very best in your data cleaning journeys. Bye-bye.